My name is Jim Ray. I'm a retired school teacher and nowadays manage Eskrook Nature Reserve. Within the reserve itself, we've got a bit of heathland, a bit of grassland, we've got willow car, we've got sedge beds, reed beds, we've now got the pond. So all these different habitats in one small area, it's fantastic. Going back 30 years now, I, I was teaching up at a local school, took a, a class doing sort of conservation work, and one of the children in my class told me about this old curling pond down here at Esk Rig. So we had a look, we thought, yeah, it's got potential, it would be nice to develop it as a nature reserve. So I went and had a word with the local landowner, and together we decided to have a public meeting. Lots and lots of people turned up for that and they all seemed to support the idea of developing the reserve. And within two months we formed the Lockerbie Wildlife Trust. The class I was teaching raised the funds to dig out the pond and in May of 1988 uh, that was done and the reserve started. In the reserve, well I start up in the morning, the centre uh, we open at 8 o'clock in the morning and then I uh, top up all the bird feeders and squirrel feeders and uh, just generally check that the place is ready to accept visitors. The rest of the time I can be doing a whole range of different jobs. I, I saw this as an area that um, rich in wildlife but it was great for the local community. They could get involved uh, looking after the wildlife and learning about it, so education was one main area. We've had weddings, we've had concerts, we've had all sorts of things, but um, it's just nice to be in the countryside with the wildlife. The basic challenge is finding the time to do everything that uh, I would like to do, um, let alone what needs to be done. One of the other challenges is uh, providing opportunities for the local people to get involved. There's always boardwalk bits to repair or new paths to create, so I've got to bring the school groups involved and local organisations like Scouts. So there's always something needing done and uh, it's getting the volunteers at the right time in the right place to do it. Community involvement is essential. But it's really good getting the community involved and they've been such a big help over the years, it's, it's tremendous. And the, I think the wildlife benefit as a result. You know, people can come and enjoy them, but the wildlife are getting fed, they've got a safe haven as it were. I think it's a good, good thing for all. When I started it off, it was a, a project I hoped would work and so on. I've been surprised how well it's worked over the years. It kept me going in my spare time while I was teaching and now that I've retired I'm sort of working in connection with the reserve 12 hours a day, 7 days a week. I thoroughly enjoy it. I, I love working with the wildlife, I love working with youngsters, seeing them get it, developing an interest in the wildlife and learning about it and, um, and then coming back and lending a hand. I just uh, I enjoy it so much. Uh, last Sunday in February we had our annual nut race. It's a bit like a duck race. We get people to sponsor walnuts and they go down the stream 50 at a time. The winner of each heat goes into the Grand National and uh, the first three nuts out, the people who sponsor them get the prize. We produce leaflets to publicise the event and but we also get a large amount of donations from the local community. Um, it's really great. I think just being able to sit down for a while and watch the wildlife, watch the squirrels, the antics, the way they run through the branches and come up to you and uh, they'll even take nuts out of your bag if you happen to have your bag open. To be able to take time and watch the wildlife and enjoy the wildlife, that's the main thing. In the long term, it would be difficult to keep it going. You've got to have a structure there. I can't do it without all the help I get from the local community. That's brilliant. There needs to be a sort of ongoing um, volunteer activity to maintain things. 
So if that continues, it'll be fine.